Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this picture on Facebook, and I told the young lady I would help her draw it. They want, she wanted to know if anybody had the file. Can't imagine. This is a little bit different than anything I've ever done before. With I've made a couple of lampshades, but they've all been symmetrical. This one is like every one is shorter. And there are one, two, three, four, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. So, and it's all out of cardboard. When I first saw it, I, I couldn't figure out what this was, but then I realized the whole thing's out of cardboard and the customer, or the customer, the person is happy uh, with cardboard. So my suggestion right now is to, this part right here, is to use a paper towel uh, cardboard. Uh, and you, you could still, so this is like exposed corrugate that you could wrap around that and then wrap these around, but um, you could use the inside to make it one a little bit stronger. And I think the rings are actually two layers of cardboard glued together. This is gonna take a couple of videos um, I am going to use, so I measured this too, but it's 1.75 inside dimensions. I'm going to go to common shapes and get the teardrop one. And I am going to hold down, well, now I ain't going to hold down the control button. I'm going to, you know, then it all depends on how big you want to make this. So that one is like 15 inches. The hardest part about this one over the other lamps is that every one of them has to be different. Every one of them has to be smaller. Uh, to fit inside, but they all need to be the same up here. So that's going to be a little bit of a trick. And I'm actually going to go in and click on that and go ahead and go to object and convert it to a curve. And when you do that, you can see some nodes. And let's see what happens if we delete, delete these two nodes. Whoop. If we delete these two nodes. Eh, it's not as nice. So we're going to leave it like that. Now I'm going to hit P and put it I had those nodes selected. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. So now I'm going to make, evidently when this thing goes up, it's going to go up into there with the spines or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to make the thing like 0.75 wide, which is going to be the inside of that. And see, it's going to spiral around so it uh, doesn't have to be really differently. And let's make it, let's unlock our ratio and make it 10 inches long. And then I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. And then I'm going to grab this one while holding down the control button and get it to about right there. Now I'm going to weld this. And this would all depends on what size you're going to make yours. Now we need seven of these. And... <clears throat> So what I'm going to do, it's, um, you know, for right now, I'm going to make it six inches equal. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to set my nudge factor on seven. And I am going to control D and make a duplicate and nudge that over. So there's our seven parts. Now, this part can all be the same because it's going to basically going to spin around inside there after we do something else in just a minute, uh, we're going to make this uh, different. But we need to make from big to little. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, let's zoom in here, I'm going to take a rectangle and I'm going to make the rectangle, well, let's make it square. So let's, uh, let me hold down, let me draw it again, holding down the control button. So it's square. I'm going to make the first one one inch. Well, back up, lock my ratio, one inch. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. And I'm going to make the next one 1.5. And then I'm going to control D and it actually made it bigger and bigger. Need one more. So that's going to be no, wait a minute. Well, that is. So we need this one here, that one there, that one there, that one there, that one there, and that one there. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both these. I'm going to go EC. That put that to the top or to the center of my item. Now I'm going to select it and I'm going to select everything and I'm going to hit B like in boy, put it at the bottom. Select both these, E, C, B. That, what I'm doing is putting it exactly in the center and then at the bottom. I don't even have to put it in there. You can shift select both of them, E, C, B. Or you can actually hold down the Alt key and select both of them. E, C, B. Alt key, select both of them. E, C, B. And it doesn't matter if you do B, C, or E, C. Or doesn't matter what you do first. Uh, it'll still put it in the center. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my virtual segment delete key. And I'm going to delete that. That segment. And I'm, theoretically, this should work. Okay. Now, those blocks aren't really part of anything, so I'm going to swipe, swipe through here and delete the blocks. So now I have um, empty spaces. So now I'm going to set my nudge factor on like 0.25. And I'm going to grab this node. And I'm going to right arrow click when I select the node. And I'm going to left arrow click twice and go back. Whoop. I'm, I did something wrong. So well, let me back up a little bit more. I must have hit something wrong. So I'm going to right arrow click twice. Left arrow click twice. Eh, my item must not be symmetrical. But we can fix that. We're just going to bring that up to here. And now at this time, I would grab this, go up to Windows, Dockers, and Join Curves. Uh, I only need to set like a point one. Okay, it did join it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and delete that node and see what happens. Whoop. See, that way I get a little bit of ramp. Now if I put this back on, I like to check it, I'm gonna put it back on seven inch nudge and I'm gonna look at there and there's the difference. I think that's gonna work. Cause we're gonna to have to make that thicker. And for some reason I'm not symmetrical. So set my nudge factor back on 0.25. Probably do a half inch really. Grab that node with the shape tool. Arrow over three times. Yeah, there's something off. Well, that one worked. So maybe I just hit something wrong. Grab the shape tool and grab both those and apply. And then I'm going to delete it. Same thing, you just have to continue through the process. And I, you could you could mark your, uh, you could change your nudge distance to, you know, 0. 0.5, but, and I just saw so this time I'm doing it four times. And see, I'm a little bit, no, I'm not. It just looks like it's off. Grab both of them, hit apply, grab it and hit delete. I must have had everything to Yeah, that's okay. That's right. It just, it moved a lot further than I thought it would. Right arrow key five times. Left arrow key five times. Six times. Six times back. Join. And delete. A little bit monotonous right here, but once you've done this, I think it, you're well on your way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that'll work. No, I'm going to go seven. And then I'm actually going to join these two nodes. No, not far enough. 
uh, 0.5. See, it still joined them. Delete. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, seven. Join them. Delete it. Now, let's see what it looks like. Let's hit just P. Now, the reason it looks like that is because they, they're actually shorter. So now we can select them all and hit T. So I messed one of them up somehow. But we could, you know, it, it's, it's art. It doesn't really um, matter. You wouldn't want them uh, equally spaced out. But what I'm trying to get to is this is the only critical part where they mix. The sides can be equal. The top needs to be equal. So now we're going to separate these. So we're going to set our nudge vector back on seven. And and really, you can't even tell the difference. Um, I need to move these both over two more, or at least one more. Yep. So there's the seven. There's our original. Now, that is just our shape. We need to uh, make this into a, a quarter inch line to get this effect. So what I think is going to be the best way to do it, we don't really want to top on this. So I'm going to select those. I'm going to right click and break it apart. And then I can cut that line out. Because if you cut the line out now, see what happens, it cuts the whole thing. So take the shape tools, click on it, take the shape tool, right click and break it apart. I'm gonna try, I've never done this before. What if we, what if we select all these and then select the shape tool and swipe through there, right click and break apart. Did it break up? Yes, it did. It broke apart all of them so it saved you a step. So now we take the virtual segment delete key and delete these lines. We want that to be open. One, the electrical cord will go through there. Now, we're going to group all the, or not group, but we'll just lasso them all together. And we're going to go to object and, can, well, no, we're not. They're a hairline right now. We're going to make them a quarter of an inch thick. Then we're going to go to object and break the uh, outline, convert the outline to an object. And then we're going to left click, right click, and look what we have. We have the inner parts. So I'm going to stop the video or start another video. I don't like my videos being too long. And I'm going to show how to make this and that. And then from there on is your imagination. Because you will have to get that part right there from a hardware store, which I have bought. So you need to size your ring. And you need to size your cardboard in here in just a minute. Anyway, stay tuned for part two. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.